Welcome to Nerdy Four, the podcast where I, Amy Brown, ask interesting and funny people what they're nerdy for. I have a very lovely friend here. I have David Perdue. Hi, Hi David. David Hi. is an Atlanta comedian. He's been doing comedy for 13 years. 13 years, yeah. And um, he has opened up for some famous people. <laughs> can you list some of the famous people? Um, and then, <laughs> famous. Uh, and I can drool on the microphone. Yeah, no. I've uh, At one point, Nate Bargatze, early, early on, I opened for him. Roy mm-hmm. Wood Jr., Dulce Sloan, um, Michael Che. These are like some people. stadiums. You're... No, only one of the biggest venue was the Fox or the Tabernacle, yeah. I should say. I've never did the Fox. The Fox is my last, like my great white will in Atlanta. Yeah, I've never the, done Fox the Fox is a theater in Atlanta. But it's uh, beautiful and huge. It's great. I've, that's the only one I've never like done. Everything else in Atlanta, I'm pretty sure I've like opened for somebody there. That's fun. Yeah. The Tabernacle is pretty fancy. It was. It's very fancy. I've been to plenty of shows there, so to like see it from the other angle, I was like, Ooh. oh, this is fun. What was the backstage like? It's very nice. They have a bunch of guitars in the oh. wall. and uh, Are they locked up? No, they're like just like artwork. Like oh. there's people, yeah, there's a bunch of guitars and like they artwork. They painted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think they're painted. That makes it like the value It was down. all a blur. I've been back there like two or three times. It was all a blur. Okay. Those are the famous people. Did you meet Oprah? I did meet Oprah. That is. You met Oprah. Let's I did go. Meet Oprah. This more more yes. importantly, when I met her, she knew who I was already. Oh my gosh. That was Oprah the, knew you. I is that because she's psychic and a deity, or is it? I'm gonna say yes to all those things. <laughs> but I think mainly it was because I was on a show on her network, and so oh, what yeah. was the show? I didn't know you were on a show on her yeah, network. Was, we hang out backstage all the time, and you never. You're so humble. You I, never. I would tell everybody. This was so long ago. Yeah, it was like 2017. It was a show called Love. Oh, is. so long ago. Yeah, I mean, what is time after the pandemic? Who knows Who what knows? time is? But okay. it was like 2017. What was the name of the show? It was called Love Is. It went one season. It got picked up for a second, and then they canceled it because uh, some some allegations came out or something. What? Something of that nature. I, I didn't have anything to do with it. But was uh, it on her new network? Yeah, it was on her on what, her own. What was the like the premise of the show? So the premise was based. And off, what did you do to get it canceled? I okay. <laughs> the premise <laughs> of the show was it was based off of the kind of the life of Mara Brock Kill. I don't know if you know who Mara Brock Kill is Mar- she, Mara Mara Brock Kill. She uh, is that like, sounds a little bit like that joke, like Mary Kill. Oh yeah, yeah, Mar- yeah no, not quite that. <laughs> so Mara, Mara is an uh, incredible writer. And she's written for like Moesha. She wrote the show Girlfriend. Is it Girlfriend? No. Yeah, Girlfriends. Yeah. Girlfriends. Uh, I'm forgetting. It's a bunch of a bunch of shows. She's like TV, black TV royalty. And she finally decided to write a show based kind of off her life as a writer coming up in LA. And I got to play a writer in the writer's room. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So you can't you have writer energy. I everybody says that, and I think it's the glasses. And I'm here to tell people. <laughs> And the fun hoodie that's like the decorative. Hoodies, yeah. That I will take that more than the glasses. People think I just want to say this for the glasses <laughs> community out there. We get mislabeled a lot. People <laughs> think like because I think people see glasses. I had I told somebody and they were like, You look like you're in computers. They're like, You oh. look like you're into computers. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm honestly like my upbringing, I'm like a a jock with an astigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I played sports and I wasn't I wouldn't say I wasn't nerdy, but I also wasn't like deep in this stuff. But I think the glasses I think make people think. The assumption nerdy. is you you done wore your eyes out reading too much, mm. and then that's why you're wearing glasses. But I would love that. You can just have bad eyes and not do mm. any reading. It's, that's me. Bad eyes. <laughs> love audiobooks. Right. Yeah. Uh, I love wearing. I started wearing glasses recently, and I love it. They're great, especially on stage. It blocks the light from kind of getting in and hurting my eyes too badly like this little rim up here just protects, protects you protects me so i can see the audience a lot better i stopped wearing mine on stage as an experiment oh yeah to see how people respond yeah and i i realized i can do more with my face without your without glasses. my glasses That's so deep. For, but also i can see less well you're getting less <laughs> botox <laughs> you're getting yeah. less botox than i am so maybe you're no i'm just kidding oh. i don't get <laughs> I don't you don't know my Botox in there. You're I not. You're right. I don't know your life. You could yeah. be Botox. I don't go Botox. I have a cramp in my foot. That's <laughs> um, oh, a really good start. <laughs> yes. Um, I said Botox and my f- foot had a fit. Uh-oh. So, okay. You people love, get what Botox the, in their feet? What was the premise of Love Is? Okay, yeah. So, it was It was, It was. was like Mara's coming up as a writer. Um, so, it was like based on her life. Oh, so was, that's right. That's it was, right. Yeah, it was based on her life. And you were one of the writers. I was one of the writers. What was your, do you have a favorite line from it? Um, I had to do a very classic, like, hot girl walk in. And then I, 
I ad lib like a damn. Like I get one of those. Uh, you need was, glasses to do yeah, that. Yeah, I need glasses to do that. I remember <laughs> my first line is my most favorite, is and it's because I forgot my actual line, the written line. And I said it was something about somebody having kids, and I said something like. Oh, you know, something about like you should be happy to have those little blessings or something like that, right? Because uh-huh. I forgot my line. So I just made up what I thought the line was and then they go cut. And before, I'd never done anything before. And so I'd always heard from people who had done stuff. They were like, if they start talking to you, that's when you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're not talking to you, you're good. So they were like, cut. And then she goes, you. And I go, oh, no, they're going to kick me off set because I forgot the line. And then she goes, I love your flavor. Keep doing that. Oh, that's and nice. And I was like, oh. <gasps> Yeah. Ooh, and head when, of the class. Yeah, so uh, that's also when I learned about what is like ADR when you come mm-hmm. afterwards. So, yeah, What's ADR? ADR? Hold on. I'm trying to remember what it actually stands for. I don't know what it stands for, but for me, it's still for more money. Oh. <laughs> so essentially, if because they didn't have me mic'd up when I said some of my lines, I had to come back later and like say oh. the lines, and they had to pay me for that. Nice. So yeah, it was like I was like I'll make up lines all the time. You're gonna start talking and like in scenes you're not even in like off camera. Yeah. Like oh I didn't know he was in the room. Yeah. Just to come back and get those in. Yeah. That's really cool. Were you live do it? Was that filming Automated here? Automated dialogue replacement. Yes, I was. Oh. Autom- I did. That's the first time I heard that in my life. Automated dialogue I, replacement. Did yes. the robots make up this? Yes, I was the first AI. <laughs> I was long before we were doing it. Was it was you. It was me. Now we're all in danger. Here's a funny story. I actually feel responsible for the AI in comedy. This oh, is very true. Like really? During during 2020, like during the pandemic, like the big early stages of the pandemic, I got an email from somebody who worked at Georgia Tech, and they were like, "Hey, you're a comedian. Uh, some of our students are working on this program around comedy. We'd love for you to like look at the stuff." And oh, I wow. was like, "They're like, we'll give you like a hundred bucks." I was like, "I'm sure." <laughs> and so this this computer would like spit out these jokes, and I would have to say. Well, this is not good, and here's why it's not good. And I'm like, thank you. And then now they realize they're using it for like. I didn't realize that you you're the architect here. I did it for a hundred dollars. For I sold us out <laughs> for a hundred dollars, yeah. and this is why comedians can't unionize. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! For a hundred dollars, that's kind of cool. Like, how long ago was that? This was 2020. I remember this was like 2020. Oh, recently. Yeah, this yeah. Was 2020. I just remember like computers were around for a long time before they were actually being useful for yeah. hum- all the humans, mm-hmm. um, but. Yeah, that was not too long ago. Yeah, this was, and I sat on my computer and I watched the the dumb program try to spit out jokes, and they were they were like, it was were like, they bad? It was like, do you not, remember not, any of them? I don't remember any of them, but I can give you the general gist. It would be because it was so bad. It'd be like, why did the chicken cross the road? And then it would say like, honk your horn. Like it would be like, <laughs> it, it literally was like, oh, you are a computer. You're, you're not even like human. You have no kind of touch. Mm-hmm. You can't touch base at all it's with like new. reality. But yeah, uh, clearly they worked it out because George Collin has a whole special out. <laughs> Now, oh wow! I haven't you, seen it. Have you seen it? I no, I haven't seen it. But it's a whole brand new special from Carlin. Completely on, AI. They, they, do they, they teach know themselves. what George Carlin stood for and liked? And do they understand? Sure, they know, but do they care? Oh, okay, there you go. Who's they? The computers or the no, people just programming them? The people them. that did that, because I feel like George Carlin's are very yeah interesting pick to be like we're gonna feed him all of George Carlin's jokes and then pump out a brand new album once after he's dead yeah. like also his family from her is not behind it so yeah oh no yeah yeah his is it, is was this one his daughter not doing well health wise and they were raising money for her that I don't know I think I saw sounds, that yeah I think that I saw that in a... so you took money away from this dying woman by helping this a- well I mean I was I, I thought maybe they would be doing that to make money for her oh no Oh. Even, I feel like even if she knew that they were going to do it, she would say, no, <laughs> I'd rather well, just based on who her father is. <laughs> I can't see her being like, it's not in authentic. the name of my father, do the AI to save me. I think she'd be like, you know, did do you, But they did Michael Jackson. But Michael Jackson's father would be like, yes, more money. Joe, Joe probably <laughs> would co-sign all. Oh, AI. So yeah, that, they, they, they've yeah. been selling that child out since since he was a baby. Since he was a baby, they're they like, got a biopic coming out. Yeah, they were like, "Man, is there a way I can make more money off my son?" Perfect. Oh yeah, yeah. they got a. But it, I think his like nephew was playing him. Oh wow! And he looks so they, much like him. Oh wow! It, I was like, That's cool. I might watch this one. I was gonna uh, say maybe they got a clone made. Anything is possible. I believe in. clones. We live in the future. Yeah, I believe in clones. I believe in. I believe in all of it now because you have to because. Money can buy you a lot of things that mm-hmm. you didn't think well, existed. You have to have the science too. Or yeah. you just or you just or you have enough money to make people pretend that it's true. That's also a thing. Oh. Like being suggested? Yeah. The, the, you know, like the moon landing. No, like... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here's the thing I'm nervous for. Yeah. Shadows in the pictures. Where are they at? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
I love I'm, Stanley Kubrick's work. <laughs> When did you met when you met Oprah? Yes. You were so was this filmed in California or in All Atlanta? All filmed in Atlanta. Okay, and then Oprah came to Atlanta. No, I had to fly to LA for a um it was like a red carpet event. It was okay. actually a pink carpet. Paint paint a picture. Okay. Take your you. time. All right, here's what happened. <laughs> How many white women have you had to explain the story to? You be so, not as many as you think, actually. Oh. Um, a lot of my, black... my grandmother said she was not a good mother to my mother because mm. she didn't have they didn't have Oprah yet. Like they, That makes Oprah so much sense. Oprah saved a generation of people. That makes a lot of sense. You know, she um so as part of the show they were having their premiere and I, we initially we our who were, were like our characters Mm -hmm. the writers weren't a part they were like oh thanks but y'all don't get to come to la and then they were like they talked to them like they should be able to do if they can get out here they should be able to do the red carpet so we were all like all right we're all gonna go so it was like me and like four of us four or five of us i think Mm -hmm. who are all now like these are like real atlanta actors and they've gone on to do great things me i was just like i'll go out there do adventure yeah do get on a couple shows have a weekend or whatever right Fly out there. A couple stand-up shows. A couple stand-up shows, yes. I didn't do more TV shows. Uh, <laughs> so fly out there. Uh, we get an Airbnb, and we get, I'll never forget, we took um, an Uber to the red carpet. Okay. And it dropped us off across the street, and you had to walk across the street to a red carpet event. And I'm like, I don't think this is how people do this. This is 2017. I think two, 2017, okay. 2018, one of those okay. years. I forget. It's all hazy now. but. Yeah. So we walk across the street, and my friend Atkins Estima, who's great, he's on a show called High Town uh-huh. on Showtime. He's he's incredible. Nice. So anyway, we walk across the street, and we're kind of like in this like holding place mm-hmm. where all the more famous people are walking and getting their picture taken. And at first, they're like, "Who are y'all?" And they're like, "We had to like explain ourselves." Did you, they send you badges in advance? Are you just no. there with no so way to me, get in? Other people had like their managers or agents oh. to kind of like make sure that they were in the right place. I had none of that. It was just yeah. me. And, but I was with my friends who uh-huh. were part of the show, so that was like, okay, cool. So we, we're we kind of getting this hold in place, and we're about to go, and they're like, all right, wait. And they go, she's here. <gasps> and I was like, oh, I know what that you means. Didn't even say, you didn't yeah, say we know what that is. means. It's and like so he's, everybody's like, oh, heads on the swivel. Like, where? Where? Yeah. And I remember she started walking down from another entrance that I didn't even know existed for this place. She starts walking down, and we're all like, oh, snap, it's Oprah, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we're all like, uh, and they're like, she has to do the red carpet. So she does it, and she's doing press, and she's talking. And then she kind of gets like a little bit further down, and like, all right, now y'all can go. So I'm like one of the first people to go. And I have i don't know how to take real pictures. So if you look at these pictures, <laughs> I'm just doing a goofy thing with my face. Like, like, like I don't know what a I'm big, doing. A big fat cheese. Big it's fat like cheese. It's like middle school and it's picture day. Yes. Except <laughs> I, I'm 37 now. I still don't know how to take pictures. Right? <laughs> so I remember. Wait, Oprah has a thing about that. Did you not read her magazine? She tells you how to take pictures. <laughs> no, I did not read. I'm going to be honest. Oprah never read your magazine. You, you, big fan of your work as, okay. as a whole. You got to put your tongue behind the back of your front teeth. Okay. I, you know who I took my advice from? Tyra Banks. Oh, I learned how to smize. She's a professional. She's a professional. (laughs) Yeah, I I remember Megger's top model and talking about smizing. (laughs) Smizing. Yeah. What do you do? do? I forgot, but I remember at the time. Yeah. So I was trying to do that. Anyway, they're taking the pictures and they're like, "All right, once you take your picture, keep it moving. Don't stop." Yeah. But like, I took my picture, but Oprah was like in my way. Not in my way, but like, you know what I mean? I had to pass her, and somewhere I saw it online. There's a YouTube video of me clearly going very slow <laughs> past Oprah to just like, kind of like shuffling. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, where am I supposed to? There's only one place for me to go, and I'm like, where do I? How, I forgot how to walk, and I'm just like oh. being around Oprah, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like absorbing breathing her energy. In. Oh, 100. percent I'm trying to breathe in deeper than I'm normally breathing. I'm like, because she's off, a billion she's dollars off-gassing from... ions and elect part of yes. her is coming off of her all the time, and you can get some of it. All of that. And it'll glow in the dark when you just go to sleep at night. Yes, I was like, I I know I'll be better person just being around. So I'm somewhere there's a video. I'm walking very slow, and I'm walking past, and I finally get to the end, and then they show they go inside and they show the first episode. Oprah does a big speech about it, uh-huh. and they show the first episode but she leaves okay so i was like oh dang i'm not gonna be over <laughs> yeah i was like that's it she probably got in the helicopter and flew away <laughs> <laughs> right? she can fly by herself she or, didn't yeah. even need the helicopter You're, that's true i didn't even factor that in the magical part so <laughs> so that happens and then um they're like party on the rooftop we go on a rooftop and all of a sudden there's like a buzz because Oprah's still here. She didn't Ooh, leave. Oh, she went to the bar. She went to the bar. She went right up. That's my girl. That's what I would do. I would go right to the bar. I just finished my speech. Yeah. And or my comedy set. Yeah. Run to the bar. What's your drink of choice? I just drink vodka now because I'm old. Okay. What did you drink? I'll, well, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll tell okay. you. Okay. Okay. I'll it's going to happen. So 
everybody's making a fuss. Oprah's on the roof. Everybody's making a fuss. Other people have their managers, agents, or whatever. They're like, introduce them to Oprah, right? They're like, uh-huh. hey, Oprah, this is my client, da da da. And she's like, oh, hi, how are you doing? I don't have any of that. So I'm like, I just have to Go get up. close to her. Yeah. So I remember I started walking to her. And you think she's just up there being Oprah. And then you realize quickly, Oprah's a part of a machine. And she has bodyguards. Yeah. And they don't like when people just walk up to her. Oh. So there was a dude who hit me with the strongest hand I've ever oh. felt in my life right here. He's like, oh. where, where are you going? Oh. And I was like, oh, I'm a part of the show. He, and then behind him, she sees me. Yeah. And she goes... Hi, David Perdue. Oh. And I go, and my brain goes, get the fuck out of here. Like, ah. you, get out of here, right? Ah. And I go, instinctively go, hi, I'm David Perdue. Because I, <laughs> I don't think that you you're that supposed to deck. know yeah. who I am. And she was like, I was like, you know me? She said, of course I know you. And Because this is why I knew it. She said, you're nothing like that senator. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, you oh, you came name. with a joke. Oh, well, she also <laughs> probably saw, she was like... Exactly. We got to check this out. Who hired who David you, Perdue for my show? Yeah. Listen, y'all. Do you know what this network's about? Yeah. Like, the message they in the state. I me. always forget that there's a David Perdue, oh, Republican senator. I, don't, white yeah, guy. I was just trying to Google to find your uh, premiere picks uh, and literally everything. It's all him. Even typing in Love Is Own Network. Yeah. Just like, it was just like Senator David Perdue. Yeah. They don't want him, you to forget about him. That guy. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, I meet her, and here's the talk manifestation. I knew I was gonna meet her. Oh, you did. Ten years before this happened. Okay. I never forget. It was one of her last seasons of her show. I'm in. I'm at Morehouse. I'm talking to my mom, and I think we're watching Oprah. And she, Oprah said something, and I go, I bet she reads this particular author. And I told my mom, I said, when I meet her, I'm going to ask her this. Okay. So you already knew what you were gonna say. Hundred percent. Okay. So I go. Uh, I, said, I never forgot. I said, Miss Murphy, I actually manifested this moment. And her eyes were like, okay. <laughs> and I go, I said, 10 years ago, I saw you talking on your show. And I said, I was, if I ever met you, I would ask you, do you read Howard Thurman? And she goes, I do. <laughs> and I go, what's your favorite book? Oh. And she's like, and I said, can I guess? And then she said, sure. And I said, search for common ground. She was like, that is. Oh. And then I just remember watching people around go, who is this dude? And why is Oprah (laughs) paying attention to this dude, right? And me and her for a quick second just have a conversation about this author who is like, to to synthesize, Howard Thurman is essentially like Martin Luther King's mentor. Okay. Without, even though they only met like once, he's like the person who Martin Luther King like pretty much idolized. Like he's writing books. Martin Luther King was reading them. Yes, yes. So anyway, we talk about that. And then I'll never forget, there was to, to, to speak to the drinks, there was a lady walking around handing out tequila oh my yeah and she comes up to oprah she goes tequila and i'm oprah was like no and my first thought was like you think oprah is just drinking general admission tequila get out of her face <laughs> right i was like i'll take it and then some one of her pre- people like hands her a tequila Why? it's the same tequila but it's just like she can't she, she can't, can't just be drinking drinks off trays no oh so people want to probably put a roofie or, in there and or, see her act a fool exactly but apparently she's a big tequila drink like her uh. and all her premier parties the parents like tequila i'm gonna drink tequila, tequila that, Oprah, like, i'll drink loves. anything and um for fun at a party and i never get too drunk yeah she, it was great so that was me meeting oprah and i remember there was other people up there I, who I don't remember now, but I just remember, like, I immediately called my mom. Oh, uh, my gosh. And, uh, but then I realized, oh, I'm, like, they're asleep because <laughs> it's late at night, <laughs> oh, so they're asleep. It's worth it to be. Yeah, I, and then I... Was, yeah, to be woken up for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she didn't pick up. No. <laughs> no, I did call her. She didn't pick up. I remember I texted my dad, and then he's in a dad fashion, he's so proud of me. He was like, I said, I met Oprah. And he was like, no, son, Oprah met you. And I was like, I oh, <laughs> Cheesy, fun-loving dad. This oh. dad. Um, that's really sweet. Yeah, so that was that was me being Oprah, that's and I stole a pillow from. The, I remember I stole a pillow from the party. They had yeah. old Oprah Network pillows, and I'm like, just gonna throw these out. And so me and like the other cast who were like weren't the famous people, we just like stole pillows. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's my mom's favorite pillow. I gave it to my mom. Well, I hope she doesn't hear about that. <laughs> Oprah, you know I stole that pillow. You don't think they take them shit. up and they put them out at the next party? Not at no. all. No, uh, not Oprah. I had a I had a meeting at Paradigm once, the writing agency, and I joked about, because they gave me a coffee in one of their mugs, and I was just like, well, I need y'all to leave the room before I do, because I want to take this mug to prove people I was here. Yeah. And then the, the guy just looked at me and goes, you know you can just have it, right? Yeah. And I was like, ah, I feel I'm so poor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because that, guy, that guy's just like, you know that that means nothing right like, honestly take anything yeah, in this they, room they're like please get ready we, yeah. we need, we need to update shit. Yeah. I feel like um, when 
uh, produce like TV and and film production companies come through. They're just burning money alive, oh. just in big cans of burning money. Absolutely, it's everything mm-hmm. is. I wish I would have took more stuff from on set because they took stuff from me. They still have a pair of shoes of mine. Oh, seriously? Because I have I wear size fourteen, <laughs> so like they didn't just have those ready. So I kind of <laughs> had to bring my own shoes. And I remember I had a pair of like all white uh, Adidas, like the original. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had to wear those for scenes. And then one day I had to switch shoes, and then I don't know what happened to my shoes. Yeah. And so to this day, Oprah, you owe me seventy nine well, ninety nine. How much was that pillow? <laughs> Probably ten ninety nine. <laughs> so you owe me sixty nine ninety nine, Oprah Winfrey. I would like that in small bills, please. Small bills. Yes. Just make it rain. <laughs> yeah, just make it rain. Which I apparently I don't know how to do. Oh, have you tried? Oh, you're getting all the you're gonna get all the good Have stories you out of me. Been to a okay. First of all, I want to point out that um, when we, we first met, and I this might be wrong, but I thought you told me that you met Damon Sumner when you guys were it going to preacher school. We were we were both in the same church. You were at the same church, yes. but you were not prote- you were not heading to be a pre- no, priest. No, all my friends. Guy. We're going to seminary. Seminary. Yeah. That's what it's called. It's preacher school. I it's, was like, I think we're saying. Yeah. Seminary sounds a little bit too close, like a dirty word. It is. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just waiting for you to say priest school. Yeah. <laughs> no, we weren't going in there. No, me and Damon met at the same church. Church. Yeah. And okay. So all my friends. I memorized this wrong. I've told it's all, kind of the everyone same. I meet, I tell them that's what, what you Amy, were into. So sorry. Very about that. funnily <laughs> knows nothing about religion. <laughs> who, is the, who is the guy that we had on that has like the famous. Andrew Stanley. Andrew Stanley. Yeah. His dad yes. is like, is like yeah, big. royalty. My, <laughs> my grandparents watch his grandparents on she TV. Just, <laughs> I guess had a lot of questions because I don't know anything about like religion. asking him all these questions. And he's so nice. And she Sweet gave me a heads guy. up. She was just like, Joel. He's he's so religious. Blah, blah. And he came on. I was like, he's lovely. I would have not have known anything about him being religious had you not come to be like, no. What's up with God? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, he was lovely and he was very funny. Yes, he's, his family is like royalty. Like literally, his his rest is so his granddad still sends my mom like weekly up. Like you know what I mean? Like from the desk of mm-hmm. his granddad and my that parents still get like wow because they got him for years. It's like, like a newsletter. Yeah, newsletter. But for reals. Like but for reals. in the letter box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Not in the inbox box. Right. But no, me and Damon did not meet in preacher school. It was at church. It was at church. Yes. Okay, I've got to rewrite that because it's been in there for eight years in my brain yeah. like that. Um, and then, so let's suggest you might be a little bit religious. Yeah, I went to, <laughs> I went to, so I'll tell the story. My dad found Jesus uh, before I was born. And then he was like, and he's going to be your only friend. Uh, so he sent me to Christian schools my whole life, kindergarten. What's Christian grade. school mean in the South? Because in the North, it means Catholic. Okay, so Christian school. I did research. Christian schools popped up uh, very conveniently right after integration. Oh, oh. <laughs> and yeah, they all all of a sudden these small Southern places had these Christian schools yeah. that popped up right after integration. Mm. And your dad didn't want you to go to school with the white kids. Huh? No, but that's <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking I think, about. I don't know if that's what he wanted, but that's what ended up happening. I don't for, blame him <laughs> for a while. So yeah, I went to these schools, and they weren't like I'll say private, but when people think private school, they think like really nice. These no. were like. They're the slapped wor- together. They're slapped with together. With no funding, probably. Zero funding. And also, it didn't... Not a trust fund between them. How, how are you going <laughs> to... Not at all. How are you going to build an empire without a trust fund? They didn't have a trust... Begun. There were no fun, And you didn't require anything to teach there. Like, but anybody yes. can teach there right now. You don't have to have any accreditation. Zero accreditation. Yes. Because so, it's loosey-goosey in Los Estados as Unidos. As you believe in States Jesus, rights. States rights. Yes. Everyone can teach their kids the way they want to. And George is like... Mm, Listen, we don't really need teaching. As long as those schools, as long as you believed in Jesus and George Bush, you could teach <laughs> you there. Good. You could teach there. And so those were my teachers from kindergarten. Wait, wait, to, 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 okay. to, yeah, to no, and seen. they possibly did not know what they were teaching. Hundred percent so didn't know. Is George Bush and Jesus like where they have two pictures on the wall? It was like um like Catholics in Boston, yes. where it's Jesus and John F. Kennedy. <laughs> they could they they would show a picture of Jesus, but I don't think they they were like George Bush. We can't let you see him. Directly, oh. it's he's too. It's holy. too strong. He's too holy. His energy is too strong. No, they used to. I remember the 2000 election. I never forget. They let us out of school early, specifically so our parents could go vote for George Bush. And my mom was like, "Yeah, I don't think that's happening." <laughs> <laughs> there was oh always a gosh. big debrief when They're I like, came Who home. Who you voting for? You Did can't they... leave then. You yeah, right. Leave. Like I was the only kid stuck in school after that. No. Did they have to undo your programming? Yeah, so I, I would come home and my parents go, "What'd you learn?" And I would say, and they go, "Okay, this part is true." 
Mm-hmm. These things, let's talk about it. Do these sound true? Uh, I don't think so. No. All right, you're getting it. So they felt they did a lot of like debriefing, mm-hmm. which was very helpful. But I always tell people like going to those schools made it very easy for me as an adult to like talk to anybody. Tell me why. Because I did like, you guys just chat in class and you got a PhD in chatting? <laughs> well, no, it's just like these are people who now people would never like talk to in a sense of like about any you know what I mean like it's like it's a difficult conversation they only view things one way and I'm like yeah I also play kickball with these kids and like we grew up together so they're zealots oh 100% I know a kid so you can talk to a zealot I know a kid who had if I remember correctly he had a full ride to Harvard and turned it down because he said God told him to be a firefighter and I was like I don't think I mean, I, don't, I think you talked to a different guy. I think my guy would have told me to go to Harvard. I think that makes right, more sense. Right. <laughs> but like, that's a type of anyway. Those yeah. people were the only friends I could have because because yeah. I, I wasn't like I, nobody in my neighborhood played with me because I didn't go to the schools with them. So Aww. they always thought I was, and I was also playing other sports. So I just wasn't like around the neighborhood kids enough. Mm-hmm. So like, these were the only kids that I kind of knew. Uh, so how many people were in your class? It sounds like they're tiny, like little like oh yeah, little rooms piece piecemeal together did you yes. have computers we we had <laughs> i don't think i saw a computer till like ninth or tenth grade like we, it was like mavis beacon how old are you i'm 37 so that kind of oh, okay. makes sense because i saw i'm 47 and okay. i saw computers in the fifth grade well nope i, I think i was like ninth tenth grade before we got to go to a computer lab and that yeah. was like mavis beacon only anything else you couldn't what's a mavis beacon the typing the typing. typing um Program? Program, to yeah. It was like type. a black lady, and she she was like, all right, we're going to type. Yeah. And you had to type real fast. Oh, her name is Mavis. Yeah, her name was Mavis. Mavis I thought Beacon. that was a computer's name. No. Nope. She sounds charming. She was very charming. She had a power suit, and she would just judge how fast you could, words you could type mm-hmm. per minute. Nice. And I was never over, I think, 38. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to be a, what is it, stenographer or any yeah. kind of real job with typing, but I can type enough. Right. You have yeah. to be able to type to function in our culture. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was only, I think I graduated with 11 people. Oh, so 11 people. So how did you even play sports? Uh, not, well, and we, so basketball played because it was, it was a Christian school. So it was like kindergarten through 12. So like, there were like seventh graders on my high school. Like Oh varsity. my gosh. So you weren't playing other schools. Yeah, we were playing other schools were who had similar. murdered? So if the schools kind of had similar, like, you know, like. Oh, uh, there's we, that many Christian schools. Yeah. Quote unquote. Yes. Um, but then there were some that were, like, above us who, like, had, like, real athletes. And, yeah, we would get – like, I remember playing a basketball game. We lost by, like, 100 points. <laughs> and I remember at, at early on, I was like, what are we – why are we here? Like, what are we well, – these kids are dunking on us. Like, we're going to get in a fight because I, I can't – you can beat me at basketball. I'm not going to let you just beat me up, too. Like, I'm going to have to – you're going to get – pick one. You're going to oh get gosh. beat up or or they're going to beat me at basketball. But I'm not going to let you do both. So. Did you guys learn about uh, evolution and how some people are going to be the, better at basketball? Gonna get just, definitely that's terrible. Not. That was the that was devil's terrible. word. No, that's good that you brought it up because we – I don't think we were allowed to say that in school. I think we were we were uh, sent to the principal's office if you said the word evolution. E is the F word. Yeah, E is the F word for sure. It was a lot of stuff we didn't learn or couldn't talk Could about. Could you talk about cells? Did you do biology? Um, n- not, I don't remember us doing biology. Did you do physics? Oh, that's the stuff with the math? Yeah, they, they they tried. Okay, so there's, okay, there's a generation of people now who okay. aren't educated. Yeah. You seem very educated. Boy, it's the glasses doing a it's, lot of you work. You do a lot of reading. I do, I do enough reading. You went to college. I did go to college, yeah. but I was a sociology major. So it's like, you really just have to know how to say stuff the right way. For, yeah. To get great, good grades. Um, but you did it. So so sure. they must be good at reading, all those people. Because that's the only thing they learned is how to read. Yeah. I can read reading enough. Reading the Bible's hard. And you I, have to read the Bible in there? <laughs> I did have to read the Bible. But ironically enough, one of the classes I failed when I was at school was Bible. Okay. And I never forget I brought home an F in Bible. And my dad was like, this is the, the only <laughs> class we're actually paying for you to have. How do you fail this? And I was like, I don't know. And I remember the dude who failed me. He believed in his heart that God was calling me to be a preacher. And oh. so he failed me, and he was just like, I just don't understand. Like, God's calling you to be a preacher. And I was like, you should tell God I should get a better grade. This, this is a sign <laughs> that I should be doing yeah. this. Yeah, God should tell you to give me a better grade so I can meet your expectation yeah. of me. and I, I I, couldn't do it. Lord, Lordy. Lordy. I, Lordy. <laughs> Lordy. That's Hard the, L. The Southern Bell coming out. Lord and mercy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, gosh. Um. Yeah, it's. I. I'm glad you made it out, and <laughs> I would agree. There, you're not the like. There's a bunch of. 
comedians mm. in Atlanta that went to Christian school. Oh, I can spot us out too. Can you tell oh. me what's the, what's the telltale? When I first met Nathan Owens, the first thing yeah. I said to him was, "You went to Christian school, didn't you?" <laughs> before I said hello, before I, I said, like, "You went to Christian school, didn't you?" He's like, "How'd you know?" There's a certain like, especially when you're first starting, there's a certain like, "What's going on?" Is this it's the, the big world? Doe eyes. Yeah, it's just like, "What's going on?" And by by the time I met her, I had already went to college. And so my my and I, I also was like kind of detached from that like that Christian school world, but I could look back. I was always different. So like I would always hang out with people outside of school, uh-huh. and everybody in school was like, "You're hanging out with those <gasps> those <pe-."> heathens." Yeah, <gasps> they're and gonna I, make you go to the devil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they were. Everybody you, was. Are you afraid of the devil? Everybody, listen. Well, I'll say that I'm not afraid of the devil. Do you, where is he? When you were little, where was the devil? Oh, he was under your feet. Was it under the bed or in the closet? No, no, no. He had his own place under, wherever your feet were, they were under there. He's underground. Devil, is he walking yeah. like your feet are coming down to the earth and then his feet are coming up to the earth's surface and he's walking underneath so, you? And then when you look back in the this sand. This is how she talked to Andrew Stanley. <laughs> when you look back in the sand, when there was only one pair of footprints, the other I was, was carrying you. Yeah, the, and the devil was pushing me up. Was pushing me up. <laughs> Ironically, I remember I told my sister when she was very little that red clay uh, was oh. a sign of the devil. That's literally everywhere in the South. Ex- did you, so did she, she lose her mind? She, did, it was, she was just like, oh she's like, you don't know how tormented I was. <laughs> by this. She wouldn't go outside. For oh the longest, gosh. she wouldn't go outside. She could have she was gotten like, depression from lack of sunshine. Yeah, I, I, I was not the best older brother. I told did her you that. Did you tease her so much? How <sighs> much younger was she's she? She's six years younger than me. Oh. Yeah, she once cut off her eyebrows because I made fun that she said she had a unibrow. Oh, and I remember she oh, came back no. and like th- most of them were gone. Uh-huh. And she goes, look. And I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's my best friend now. But I was not I was not a good older brother. Do you were you going for, through a teenage spell? And no, I was just I was you really because you're so nice. I'm a, ter- I was a terrible you, are person. Are you a terrible person in the inside and you're just nice like on the outside? <laughs> so, all right. Full disclosure. When my brother starts, my brother comes around comedians. And the way you guys talk about me, my brother goes, who are they talking about? <laughs> They're like, I don't know this man. Is that your work persona? No, I think you so. You save he, it for the people you love for no, the most. So here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, I think I ha- I went through like a transformation where I realized I was not a good person. Okay. And I didn't want people to, like, I was not, not just like mischievous, like I was like angry. Oh. You know what I mean? I was like, I used to hit my brother. It wasn't good. Did you have a chip on your shoulder? No, I had some, I think I had a chip in my brain. Something, <laughs> something was like wrong with me. Did did you give testosterone like too much or something? I I just think I think boys need like an outlet and they need people oh, to like listen to them. Playing b- basketball with seventh graders wasn't enough for no, you. No, yeah. or just like they need the language to like talk through frustrations, and I didn't oh. have that. Oh, so I got, just would like oh. fight my brother, and he couldn't fight back. And I remember the thing that changed is like I remember one time I like went to hit him. And he was like, or not even went to hit him. I think I went to like grab something. And he thought he you flinched, flinched. Oh. and I remember thinking like, "Oh, I'm I'm not good." You're this a bully. Was, and I was probably like 17, 18 like when this happened. So this yeah. was like, you know, much many many years ago. But I remember like, "Oh, I don't want to be that." Like he's yeah. afraid of me. Yeah. And then how I'm much re- younger is he? Three years younger than me. Is he little too? No. This okay. is so. This is how. This is to my God. God loves to balance stuff out. I go to college, uh, and I, I I don't come home often. Uh-huh. And I remember I came home one time. My brother was in high school. He started playing sports. I noticed. He was working. He started to get bigger. Oh. And so I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I don't care about you lifting weights and doing that stuff. So we go play basketball. I never hear one day we're playing basketball. And I tried to, like, big brother him and, like, foul him hard. And nothing happened. And then one time I, like, wanted to hurt him because I was like, he's not respecting me. So I, like, went to hit him. And I'll never forget the. He, I hit him and he looked at me like. <laughs> he started laughing. <laughs> he was like, ha, 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 ha. And I was like, what? And so I was like, now nah, I have to really hit him. And oh. I'll never forget. I went to hit him. You're trying to be an alpha. Try, try. This is the last. This is when the day me and my brother became <laughs> best friends. I went to hit him, and I don't know what he did, but he like dodged it, and then also grabbed my arm and made me choke myself <laughs> with myself, like I was choking myself. And then he goes, "Are you done?" Yeah. And I was like, and this is when this I had to go psychological. I go, "What are you doing? Mom wouldn't want to see us like this." This is what I. <laughs> I was like, he can beat me up. <laughs> You're like, shit, 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 shit. What do I do? Oh, my. What about mom? What about mom? Don't do this. All the times you, the order. you beat him up. And oh. you're just like, mom would hate. I'm so lucky mom my brother's the sweetest he human being. like he's got a good head on his shoulders. But he had every right to, like, 
like murdered me. Oh yeah. Have you been crying and sad and start flinching when you're around yeah, him? Yeah, I was not. I was terrible to him. And, I, and there's you're so nice backstage. All the comedy things. You're always so like a, a nice ear and someone to talk to. I and had, we have. And you're you're generous with your time and, had to and learn. your wisdom. And so it's interesting to me that the Bible doesn't have anything that helps uh, people talk talk about their feelings. It, How, have you done, did you try Oprah? Because she's really good at that. She's very good at that, but she didn't have <laughs> the time for me. Maybe you change your uh, religion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I think all black people are kind of like minor in Oprah, the, the religion yeah. of Oprah. Like, we're all kind of like, she's a deity yeah. in a way. So I feel like there's like, obviously Jesus. She's but then there's like Yeah, there's like an Oprah. How do you get from poverty in Mississippi to Oprah? Determination. Your private plane to your Hawaiian hard, island. Hard work, determination. And, and probably other things that we don't want to mention. Touching a cord, emotional cord, <laughs> helping authentic, and then helping people process their I will say that. And m- move forward in health and light. Truly. Like, I think her, so the book, the dude I was talking about who me and her bonded over, reading that dude really kind of changed. Who, a couple things changed me. That, reading that dude, going to college. Yeah, college And then having, good. like, loss. <gasps> oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. loss, like, makes you go, oh, okay, I don't want to be this, and I want to be better. And it was the loss of the power you had over your siblings, right? That's it, all type of loss. <laughs> that included. Your machismo. Yeah, I was just like, who? Like, your who, alpha dog energy. Who is this for? And, but I also, my dad would tell me this. He was like, oh, yeah, you got that from me. The alpha dog energy? Just the, just the, my dad was an athlete and like we're just super competitive and like oh, we're then, quiet. Did Jesus help him get like, yeah. when he found Jesus? He tells this story about how like he found is Jesus. Is that how you say it? Am I saying it right? Jesus. You found Jesus or you... you what how's the Some transition? people find him. He comes to people. I don't know. As long as you, as if you're out there, accept, is accept that... Jesus. It's all. I think it all works. <laughs> I think it all works, Amy. <laughs> I don't think. I hope there's no uh, policing of the language of how uh, one this... experiences Jesus. Oh yeah, no. I'm just asking, like, for your vernacular. Oh no, I think peers. it's all. I think it's all the same. Okay. I'm not a scholar by any means, though. I will say that I, I'm not a Jesus scholar. I know some things. Yeah, take off your glasses for the second half of the podcast. See how she responds. I feel like to the next. She's like, "What's up, you little nerd?" (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I can beat you up too. (laughs) Right? Put you in a headlock. Yeah, like I think your necklaces lend yourself to to like um, guru energy. So again, (laughs) these are all I. I You tell me about your jewelry. All right, this I I buy jewelry from people who I think are cool, and. They have so the energy be, will transcend into you. So I'm not even. I hate to break the people. Like I know what these mean to people. Like I know what like this is. They a, have, oh, they have meetings. So a let me, there's our, there, So the gold is a rose gold. No, no. This is. I don't know. This is like copper or something. Okay. Like there's. That. They're long. They're yes. probably 24 inch, 22 inch chains. But these are like you know, these are the hardware. So the chains are not the, like yeah. the thing. And then but there's like, uh, medallions with stones in them. Yeah. So this is my birthstone. This is an amethyst. Okay, so it's a dark purple. Yep, and then this is a rose quartz, which a, is like a, a symbolizes pink. like love. You know, like manly men wear. Yeah. So, but the thing is, <laughs> I just I never liked chains, but I wanted to wear something around my neck. Uh huh. And so a little pe- razzle dazzle. A little razzle my dazzle. My son is wearing a necklace. Yeah. What kind? Was he? Was he? It's tight like plutonium. That's not right. It's titanium. Oh, platinum. Oh, is that it's, platinum? No, it's like it's like tit- it's like some sort of like the thing they make the Kevlar vest out of. Oh. Okay. No, no, that's not right. It's just some really strong metal. I'm like that if it gets stuck, it's gonna, it's gonna. Kill is it you. long or is it like it's here? Okay. It's, so and it's silver colored. That's cool. I think I think having for me, I just liked it. So people see it and they think like, oh, like I'm a crystal dude, and like I know yeah, the stuff. A crystal dude. That exists, there and I'm go. not here to knock. If you're a crystal, I just like the way they look. <laughs> That makes you a crystal dude. I like the way they look. <laughs> All you, you gotta do is just tell people it's got personal meaning to you, and then it's a conversation. People, will, it can be. People but, will respect that. Do you ever have to put them out on a moonlight so they can recharge? I, I'm not gonna. I would be lying to you. If I, <laughs> no, no. Here's the thing, Amy. I'd be lying to you if I said I haven't done that. <laughs> I'd be lying to you. I've done it because I'm like, if you're gonna wear it. Right, like charge just, it. just do, <laughs> just charge just, it. I, I, I'm, I'm a yes anding. I think when it comes to a lot of religion, put your like, phone in the charger and then put your, your exactly, crystals out in the moonlight, up. a like, full moon. Yes, yeah, a full moon for yeah. sure. No, I've definitely driven home and looked up. I was like, gotta put the necklaces out tonight. Like, like I've done that. 
<laughs> I've done that, and I'll be lying. I'll, I'm here to admit, I'll be lying if I said I didn't do that. I've definitely do you, done that. Do you, have you found better luck come to your life? Since I always you forget these... that I did it, so I don't record the luck. I'm just going, just another day. Oh, it's just another day. It's just another day. So you can't track it? No, but I don't think, I'm not here to track it. I'm just here Let's to. Let's turn it into science. Well, you probably didn't get ta- taught how to do a data I don't know anything collection about... well, or no. a control, and then. <laughs> Sociology should have taught me that. Oh, yeah, you're right. And it didn't. <laughs> oh, I want you to talk about your the college you went to. Okay. And you told me a story about, like, I asked if you ever performed there, and you said you, you don't want to because you saw a famous person get um, keys. Keyed, yeah. Yes. And this is, uh, talk about this, because okay. I didn't know this was an option if you're doing poorly. <laughs> so, this is, black crowds love you guys. I'm one of you sometimes. You went to Morehouse. I went to Morehouse, which is an historically black, black college. Yeah. Uh, and so I remember my freshman year. They, would, if also if you're an entertainer, especially a black entertainer, you go to HBCUs before you blow up because that lets you know whether or not you're good. Oh, and it that's also, fascinating. And if, they always come through Atlanta because no one who goes to these schools is from here. So you essentially take that music, whatever the thing that you like, and you go and you share it. So it's a quick way to like blow up. So when I was there, uh, my freshman year. Chris Brown came to perform, and this is before he beat up anybody. This was like 16 year old baby Just Chris dancing Brown and singing. dancing, singing. Next Michael Jackson, we love this guy. He's performing at my college, and I don't remember what happened. He fell a little bit, and we were not here for it. We were like, <laughs> boo, <laughs> boo, boo, boo. And then we. My armpits are sweating for him. We right now. took our. This is the thing if you go to like. Mo, not most, so a few, especially in the '90s, black comedy clubs. Oh. If you if you bomb, the the hosts would say, "Don't boo, key them." Okay, like take your keys and shake your keys. At, yeah, at back the, when people had keys. Yeah, back when people now the everybody's fob, got the fob. yeah the five. It's just like, <laughs> it's wah, wah, so wah, much wah. more aggressive because that a room full of key jingling. <laughs> buddy, Can you buddy. imagine? Oh, oh. I, I'm I'm buddy. intimidated right now, yeah. buddy. I've been a I've seen it. I've had it happen to me, <laughs> and I and when I was 19. I did it to Chris Brown. <laughs> I did it to Chris Brown. Dude. And I remember, and we all, it was a, like a small stadium full of just angry 18 and 19 year olds king this child. Oh <laughs> He's God. only 16, 17, maybe at the time. That's gotta be rough. Just king this child. And so the, yeah. I do a bit about it. I say, like, every time I see him on the news being a terrible person, I'm like, You know what I, happened? I, nah, I might have had this something to do with that. This is his origin story. Yeah, if no. we were doing some sort of Marvel, Marvel thing. Yes, this is it. Okay, now we know what happened, why now, he broke and turned into being aggressive. Yeah, yes. And he didn't have a younger brother that no, put him he, in a headlock. Yeah, so every start here about Chris Brown, it's just like, yeah, we Gosh. we didn't help. That's walking through fire. Like that, There's like having a bad set. And then there's people being actively hating you with their yeah. car keys. I remember telling that story about getting keyed and it bombed. And then a dude keyed me. <laughs> Which was like, that's poetic. Like, that's, I couldn't even be mad. I was like, I gave you the weapon to kill me with. Yeah. And did, you did it. Did you love going to a historically back college? I, it was, university? it was the best decision I ever made. I, love, I see, see, like, I went to a small women's college yeah. and I loved it. And I feel like that's the same energy. It's like, we're, we're going to be together and we're going to do this. You felt cared for, right? I felt cared for. I was, I think, especially for, I'll say for black men, it's like, you don't have those spaces where you feel cared for. And so when I was there, it was never a time where I felt like no one cared. Unless you're on stage. Unless unless you didn't go to the school and you were paid to be there and you couldn't dance the way we wanted you to dance. <laughs> then we didn't care about you. Uh, but yeah, you felt cared for. It was like a community. Like, I'm still very tight with people who I'm like was 18 years old and sharing meal cards with. Like, like I've been in weddings with these people. I'm yeah. godparents to these, these people, people's it's kids. Cl- it's close. It's, it's, a, it's a bonding. It's, 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 it's you, especially you're bonding when you're like dead broke too. Like you have nothing. Uh-huh. And you're like, oh, you have bread. You have peanut butter. <laughs> I have jelly. Guess what we got? A meal. Like it's, it's a, it's powerful. And then where it is, more else is like in the middle of the hood, especially when I was there. Uh-huh. Like now it's like starting to become like gentrified a little bit. Is it all male too? Yeah, it's okay. all male. But Spellman was right there, mm-hmm. and which is all women, which like made it okay. And then Clark Atlanta was there as well. And I think there was like for every one dude, it was like 16 women. Okay. So like that was another thing too that I always tell people like, we were like, you went to all man school? It's like the ratio of between the three schools, and we're all like within a rock throw of each other. Yeah. I think it was like 20 to 1. Of all the, all the women's yeah. colleges. Oh, yeah. So it yeah. was it was like, and not just like any twin. Let me be very clear. I want to look into the camera and tell people this. These are the, some of the most 
amazed, beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. When I was 20, I mean, I was 18. I remember my dad dropped me off because he went to Clark Atlanta. That's where he met my mom. Okay. And he knew I was kind of sheltered. Uh-huh. Going to these Christian schools. I never he dropped me off. The middle and of Atlanta, a huge city. N- just like in, hot in, ladies left and right. And he and he'd been there. Like he'd gone to college at Clark. He was one of the one of at the time, probably 13, 14. And then he goes, I never get he goes, pace yourself. <laughs> right? You're gonna be drowning in boobies. <laughs> Not even that. He just was like, and then he goes, he goes, You've never seen anything like this. He's like, keep your composure. Don't be weird. Because he knew I never, I never. You're going to walk around like a comedian that went to a yeah. Christian school. I, and His big eyes. Thank God. Big I, don't know. Eyes. I think God, I was so like corny and didn't know anything because I would have lost my, like I was such a shy dude that like none of that could affect. I was always like, oh, okay. Like, but also I was like, I see it though. You know what I mean? But I also was like, I didn't have the, like the gumption to talk to women the way right. I do now. It's going to be terrifying. Well, not just, uh, they're also going to class and like he, that they're going like as models. Like, they're not going to class in sweatpants. They're like, no, I'm... They're I'm, turning out. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, this is this looks like TV. <laughs> this looks like TV. And everywhere you get it, they're everywhere. And so, I, yeah, it was, That's again, awesome. best time of my life. I'm glad. Did you, so was there fun traditions that were specific? Did you guys, like, do step... I, so I, so here's how it works. All right. There are, um, there are fraternities... That I was not a part of, mm-hmm. mainly because Morehouse in and of itself is its own fraternity. There's only like three thousand people to go to that school, uh-huh. so like, like if you six hundred women. <laughs> oh, okay, small schools. Let's, we yeah. out here. Um, yeah. So yeah, no, there's only like three. So what, it didn't make sense to like join a, a frat because people mm-hmm. look at Morehouse as its own frat. Yeah. So I was like, one of already friends. Yeah, and I also didn't have the grades or money for it. That's also <laughs> those are probably more yeah, important. Yeah, they're expensive. Things. They're very expensive. But my freshman year, your dorm would have like a stroll team or a step team. I didn't do the a step stroll team, team, which is you step stroll is like people not committed to the step team, but you want to learn like one one move. Uh huh. So I did that. Okay. Like I was a part of, or at least I knew the stroll. I don't think I was a part of the team, but I like knew the stroll. Mm-hmm. And then I would like support people who did the step team stuff. So like the cool stuff that you see, like I didn't do that uh-huh. because I was never cool yeah. in college. Not one day in my life was I cool in college. I was <laughs> cool with the kids who were cool, but I was never like he's uh-huh. cool. I was just around. Yeah. Yeah. That's so the classic comedian story. <laughs> I was good friends with the cool people and they were like, he's cool enough to be around. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't, I did stroll, which is like, again, you kind of step in, but you're not doing all the intricate stuff. Uh-huh. I'm trying to think, we have like a school song. Tufts has um, a step team that just came out and it's uh, all different kinds of people from all over different yeah. countries. How do you feel about that? I, I know a lot of people, black people will gatekeep that. And I'm not mad at gatekeeping it because it is very special. It's like a very special thing that like, it's all right. It's, it's amazing. They had a, 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 a competition at our college. Oh, yeah. And it was, my head exploded. It's intense. It. it was amazing. Stepping is very intense. Like yeah. they, they I don't, it's like a, another job these, these students had when I was there. I feel like if you're doing it and you're not like giving, it's weird. Like I, I, because I'm not in it, I can't say it's okay for people to do because I didn't do it that way. But I will say it does look weird when you're like, wait, what are you and why are you doing it? And when I say what do you mean, like you're not one of the divine nine, which is like the nine uh, sororities and fraternities. Like if you're not one of them, it, it looks weird because oh. we know where you got it from, but like who gave it to you mm. or did you take it? You know oh, what I mean? I didn't realize that step originated in the, frater- the fraternities and the sororities. And I feel like it did. I don't want to lie to you. Anna, okay, but I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, oh, uh, uh, and then now that like uh, Alabama, all these like sororities and stuff are doing all these dances on TikTok. Yeah. Is that I'm so those look scary when they talk about, when they like open the door and then they're doing these like I'm like I this is its own thing. <laughs> this doesn't feel like it's inspired by anything that happens at HBCU. Uh, at least the ones that I've seen. Yeah, I'm sure there are some out there, but it's less rhythm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like like the like padding and beating of the t- the stage with your feet. But I think whatnot. anybody, I, I don't know. I think anybody can do. I just like pay homage. Like best example, when I was at Morehouse, we had a white dude that went to Morehouse. Mm-hmm. Oh, do tell dish because we had a a boy that went to our our college. Yeah, because his mom was a professor there. And he got all the classes he needed. He couldn't legally get a um, diploma. Sure. But he got a. He worked. At, he did computers and got a great job. Why not? And he comes to reunion and we love him. He's very great. So we had a Russell the love muscle. So all right, I want to. 
Of course he has a nickname, Russell yes. the Love Muscle. We teased him a lot. What a but fun he was, guy. He was fun. Yeah, he's he like, what's him. up with your little penis there, Russell? He's like, what? I just <laughs> I just came to class. Yeah. yeah. He's great. He comes to my shows when I travel. Oh, <laughs> yeah. what a, that's, all right. We. He's wonderful. So, all right. How, so, tell us about this white guy. So I want to say, this, but I'm going to preface this by saying, I see a lot of people, especially like since the Super Bowl, and this conversation always comes up about he's like a black national anthem or like historically black colleges. And people will say stuff like, why do they have these, this oh. is divisive. You know, and I'm like, if you just pay attention, like, we didn't start these because we wanted to. <laughs> we just started because we had to. Like, we weren't allowed. Yeah. So, until recently. Until recently, <laughs> recently, right? Recently. So, with the white guy at, at HBO, I don't, there was never a problem with him. This dude was super cool. He looked like Adam Levine. Oh, he's hot. Yeah, he looked like Adam Levine. He was from, like, I think somewhere in the Midwest, like Missouri, maybe. And he was also brilliant. So much so that he ended up being the valedictorian. Oh, my God. And that was, that. <laughs> that's where I was like, I think we've gone too far. <laughs> Here's the thing about him. On TV, when they were interviewing him, he had perfect corporate America voice. Just like, <laughs> yes, I'm so happy. I understand I'm at Morehouse College, a prestigious institution, da, da, da. But when he, as soon as that microphone turned off, he was one of us. <laughs> and it was, a, I've never seen a white dude code switch. <laughs> but but we knew like that's really who he was like he grew up around black people in Missouri in Missouri I okay. think I, from I my understanding I don't remember I think like he was like adopted by a black family Aww. in a black area and like he was just like so I was like oh he's doing the thing they teach us to do but it looks <laughs> weird when he does it <laughs> and it was amazing and so people were like so mad that this this white dude was uh, you know the valedictorian but at the same time it's like he did the work yeah there must so there must not be any um language around the uh diplomas that he he could get one no i i don't think so i think that like the only language i think might be about like having women in the college and even that might be changing but like i think that i feel like if you get the right you know recommendation also i don't think they know who we are when we pull up cuz on my application i told them i was fourth in my class and I think that's why I got Out of in. 11. I didn't tell him I was 11. <laughs> I just told him that was none of their business. I told him I was four. Did you take the SAT? Yeah, I took the SAT. How'd you do? What was it's it? A lot of back then it was out of reading. So. It was out of what, 1600 back then? Uh, I think I got like a 1100. Okay. My best time. My best one was like 1100. And I think, uh, or maybe like 10, 50, something like that. Uh, Enough. Know. Right, it wasn't Enough like to get in college. Yeah, because yeah. again, I'm in Christian school. I don't know anything. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know anything. So I was, I was so happy to have get all those numbers. I was like, wow. I thought I was gonna be like a six. I wonder if it's better now because of YouTube. These Christian co high school kids can Google things they're no, missing. They don't know what to Google. I'm telling you right now, they do not. No one tells them what to Google. You have to. If you're a Christian school kid, you hear my voice. Just go experience stuff. <laughs> go, just go, find that one cousin your mom doesn't like you hanging around and do whatever they want to do on a Saturday. It'll make you a better person. You go to the planetarium. Go to the planetarium. Do anything. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be science or education related. Mm -hmm. Just go do whatever that one cousin that smokes those funny cigarettes. Go do whatever <laughs> yeah, they I was do. A, I was a public school kid that did a lot of drugs. So, And then I'll tell people about like my high school years or like my early 20s. Yeah. And people are like, oh my God, Joel. I'm like, what? Everyone does that. They're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, they do not. And no, I'm like, I, I, don't know. I was straight. Like I don't. I didn't touch alcohol until I was twenty one. On my twenty first birthday, first time I touched alcohol. Mm -hmm. Never didn't respect smoke. for the law. Yeah, or just like afraid of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> that was mainly it. But yeah, I didn't do any of that. And then you know, do they drink? Because there's a lot of Christians that don't drink. I never saw my parents. Never had alcohol in the house. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Baptist energy. Yeah, yeah. I think I think my dad's parents like had like a bar. Because they were like swanky Detroit people Ooh. who had like, you know, oh, we have a party at the bar downstairs. Like they were like that with like the coats and stuff. Yeah, like big so he collars. Com yeah, so he comes from that. Uh -huh. But like he was like, I think he was like, oh, I think our family might have the taste. Yeah. <laughs> and so he was like afraid. But I was like, when I turned 20, I was like, Pop, we have it. <laughs> I promise you we have it. But I've always drunk in moderation. Oh, drunk in moderation. Yeah. Oh, that's good. All right. Real quick, I'm going to ask you a series of questions series and find of questions. out what kind of nerd you are, if you are indeed a nerd. Um, I love it. Okay. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? I'm going to go Star Wars. Okay. Do you, have you watched all the new ones that have come out? So, all these here's the thing about milking me. Milking the sheep or whatever it's called when you're just... No, I haven't seen the new ones. And that's okay. because I hadn't seen any Star Wars anything until maybe like three or four years ago. So I never you were late. knew. Was this yeah. because of the Christian thing, or are you stubborn? I, no, I wasn't even stubborn. I've never been stubborn. I've never been those people like I don't watch this because you guys watch this. And the Christian thing only really stopped me from watching like The Simpsons, 
For well, a, oh, I thought you were going to say Debbie Does Dallas. No. <laughs> it was The, the Simpsons. Si- wait, it's The Simpsons Naughty? Well, it was bad. My dad didn't like it because Bart back talked Homer and he was, I'm not giving my kids no ideas. The oh. Simpsons, when it came out, was, uh, was, was very risque and like. Uh, yeah. Like against the against the norm, they 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 broke a lot of taboos. Yeah, like my dad hated that Bart called him Homer. Yeah. Like he was, his, his yeah, first he was name. just like, oh no, my kid's not watching that. Um, uh, my parents had me watching Robin Williams, so oh. I didn't. Know. How would there should be a movie or something where like people for a little bit of time switch childhoods <laughs> with other people. You know, like a wife swap and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. But like, like, a, like, just some sort of like go back. I would love to be you, <laughs> and you could be me for like twenty four oh hours. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I'd survive it. You'd be, you'd like, be fine. all of this is bullshit. Yeah. No, you'd be fine. <laughs> did you have? Did they take you to the hospital if you got sick? Yeah. Yeah. No, we weren't. Yeah. You weren't no, 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 Okay. No, 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 they were. Yeah. Did you get vaccines? Yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> I did, but if, oddly enough, I found out my mom never got the polio vaccine. She might have been. Uh, young enough, she didn't need it. No, she oh. she got polio. She got polio. <laughs> yeah, in Detroit. Me, me and my no, my mom's from Atlanta. Oh, okay. We joke all the time because I remember one time I was wearing shorts or something, and my brother was like, "Yo, one of your legs is different from the other." And then I, we just the running jokes like, "Oh, that's the polio leg." That's the polio mom leg. I got a polio leg. So she was like, "Yeah, I never got the vaccine." And I was like, "I we can see you got the polio leg." Oh my gosh, she's fine. I hope though. she's okay. She's yeah. great. Love, um, hi, mom. <laughs> okay, uh, have you ever been to Comic Con? No. Dragon Con. I have not. None of that. Have you ever ridden a unicycle? Unicycle? Oh no. I that, played the I played the Super Nintendo game. I think it was I forgot, but it was all about a unicycle. It was like a unicycle race. Okay. Does that count? No, but was, that's pretty You know weird. what I'm talking about, Joe? I have no clue what that is. There was a man. It's, it's a it's a Super game. Nintendo? It was a Super Nintendo game and it was just unicycle races. <laughs> and I used to play it all the time. Uh, Uni racers. Uni racers. Yeah, I played that. Did you play an instrument? I played the recorder in oh. school. Oh, yes. The plastic Did flute. you have these glasses or glasses and playing the recorder? Of Did you ever have glasses, play the recorder, and wear a clip-on tie at the same time? No. no. <sighs> we were going to paint a picture. <laughs> I th- no, never the clip-on tie at the same time. I played the piano also for like two weeks. <laughs> That doesn't count. It does not count. Did they buy you a piano for it? No, they, I had, I, they got me lessons, and then my teacher was like, do you practice? And I was like, we don't have a piano. And then she kept getting mad that I didn't practice. Oh. And so I was like, well, I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't have a piano at home. I'm sorry. Um, did you ever wear a clip-on tie? I'm sure as a kid. Yeah. Not, yeah, once, but like also, it's very, I think it's like a thing for like dads to teach their kids, their son. Can to you tie a tie? So this is some more house stuff. Not only can I tie a tie, I know different. Back, back <gasps> in my other you day, have, before, do you know how to do different ties? I used to. This is how Morehouse, You 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 try to stand out, like and everybody's kind of stylish. So like I had a semester, or a, a probably semester, or maybe a year where I was like suit and tie every day to school to class. Like it was like this we, is fabulous. me and my friends were like you know we 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 dressed in like success. I love it. Yeah. So I was like you're like going back in time. Oh yeah. So briefcases. Like, so we were doing our best. Whatever suit we had, we switched out shirts, we switched out ties or whatever. I learned how to tie different knots, but also I can make a bow tie out of a regular tie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and I used to wear that, and it would look like a bow tie. That's amazing. Yeah, I used to, like, I was a different person, for sure. <laughs> well, this is the outfit. You're wearing the outfit for comedians, which is a hoodie. Yeah, but it's I'm clever. all about comfort now. Yeah, that's amazing. That's yeah. You know, I... I like it when a man can tie a tie. It's like you're a real man. I'm a real man. No, I I, I agree. There's something very like, oh, okay, adult. You know how to do that. I just reached the point. I, was like, I actually don't like this at all, and I'm never gonna do it again unless they make me. Uh, Harry Potter. Did you get into that? No, I've seen the second one. Okay. Never yeah. read the books. Never. If you're fine. Okay. I've seen a couple. Do you have of a cape? Them. I don't no have. Cape. Oh, actually, do have a cape. I have a cape. Thanks to Shauna God Candy, I played a uh, superhero in one of his shorts, and I kept the cape. <laughs> so I own a cape now. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I went uh, two Halloweens. I used it two Halloweens ago, and I went as out. a uh, super spreader. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Very fun. Have you ever said his awe? Definitely not. No run fair for you? No, I don't know. Any, Do you like Disney? I don't know any of those words you just said mean. Run fair. <laughs> Renaissance fair. Oh, Ren fair. The, the no. wenches. Oh, those seem very cool. Again, I'm not anti. I don't like yucking people's yum. Yeah. If you like something, but I've just never. I need people to. You can wear me those, those crystals things. there. I think you they would right be, be hit. They yeah. Could, yeah they'd be into They're it. very druidy. Oh, I'm. I'm. I'll go. I, I. Every time I see friends that have pictures of those places, 
I'm like, somebody invite me. We should do, uh, we should, uh, when it comes back, we should bring 4th and 10 down there. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know Nate goes. I know Damon. Yeah. I know Damon. I think Damon has gone before with his kids. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. never been. I've never been. I want to go. I want to see the jousting and whatever it is. Like, I want to okay. see all of that. This is, a, have you ever made your own clothes? But I, the, I think turning a tie into a bow tie kind of counts like Yeah, that counts, like that. right? Yeah, have you ever done anything else like that? No. Did you ever cut your own pocket folds out of fabric that would accent your tie better? No. Out of some loose fabric? No, I've never done that. Um, no. Okay. I don't, yeah. I, I do used to want to own like a sewing kit just to like learn how to sew. Oh. And I still think that might be something I might do later. I just think it's cool. Uh-huh. That you just make clothes. Yeah. Like people used to do that. Like now you just, I'm like, I could just make clothes. Do you like Disney? Are you a Disney guy? I, I do like Disney. I Have like you Disney. been to Disney? Would you get married in Disney? If, Would you marry a girl <laughs> who's like, my identify as Minnie? <laughs> I, I I probably will end up marrying a weirdo like that. Uh, no, I've never been to Disney World Land in those places, but I do like Disney movies. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're not you're not wild. Do you love Jeopardy? Yes. Are you good at it? I'm decent. I'm decent at Jeopardy. Okay, because there's no science questions. Well, I'm, I'm like <laughs> I, I know enough about everything mm-hmm. to be okay at Jeopardy. Cool. So even science. Did I you don't take know science classes at college. You had to. Yeah, yeah, I took some. Yeah, we took science, but I wasn't. I like. I remember Dude. the whatever the biggest thing I ever had was in biology. I remember definitely it was a group project, and I only got a good grade because it was I a got team a good effort. Group. Yeah, I I was not helpful. Did they have you had labs when you were in high yeah. school? No lab. I think we I think we dissected a frog once. Uh huh. Whatever that means, uh, I don't think they cared how we did it. Did you just like here's some dead frogs and some some hammers? Yeah, have no, it, we kid. had the little scalpel and stuff like that. It was just none of. I feel like they knew none of that stuff was real to us, so they didn't care how we did it. No one was really checking for us. Yeah. Um. Are you? Have you ever said this is not canon about something? No, I'm not. I I don't even believe in it. Okay. <laughs> have you ever had a birthday party for a pet? No, but I did kill my goldfish at my like third birthday party because I thought he wanted cake too. Oh, Charlie that is so did sad. Did not want cake. Bless all, poor Charlie. Yeah. Do you have a tattoo? No tattoos. No tattoos. Um, if you had gone to a fraternity at Morehouse, would you have to get a tattoo? Uh, I might have had to get like branded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that looks the one I thought about doing, I probably would have had to get branded. Did you know the hazing is really? I guess it's gotta be hard it is to get a, to live through that hazing. One I mean, of my best friends, I'll never forget. He was pledging my, our sophomore year, and boy, he you need people to help you get through it. Yeah, and yeah. I was like his person was like he was like yo, can you go to the cafe and get me some like patty melts? And like I had to like sneak and beat him and like yeah, it's just that's like we became <laughs> tighter because of the hazing that, that he, was he going went through. through that yeah, he, got he was making bond with. You, yeah, we all, but he bonded with those guys and bonded with me, so it was just it all worked. And then could he get you into the parties? So if I wanted to go, I'm sure he could. I just didn't go. I was like, I didn't go to any parties for real. What? Wait, I'm so confused. In college, I went. Me and my friends, we used to go. That's what college is for. I know. And your dad I, said to pace yourself, not to derail the train into a ditch. I hung out with pe- people. You wear a who suit be- in your room exactly. and not going out. I went to like maybe three parties in college. You went to three. Bar- like maybe three. Did you get crazy after college? Did you go wild? No. I Have you done acid? Never. Mushrooms? No. Marijuana? I mean, edibles every now and then. All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't gone crazy? No. Ever. How, I've been very how metered. You are? Huh? How very metered? I'm very. I am. I've always been a pretty metered person. Okay. Yeah. I I went to like we used to go play basketball. It's twenty four hour basketball place where everybody was going to parties. Like me and my friends, what we did. And then we would go eat at, like, Waffle House and, like, maybe meet people who were coming back from parties. Okay. And I would go to, like, house parties. I didn't like the whole, like... Did you meet girls at college going to play basketball on a Saturday night and then going to Waffle House? I'm sure you smelled there amazing. Were no, there were no girls <laughs> at the playing basketball, playing basketball with us. No, there were no girls playing basketball with us. So you would have to hit on them at, in the classroom if you're not... Or, like, on the, like, where our colleges met, we call it the Strip, like, where Morehouse, Clark, Spelman kind of all met. Was it a hangout sp- place? Used to hang out there, like a park, at the and you library. Can, like, bring a, bl- a blanket and sit in your suit. No. You just stand there. If you stand there, look like you're waiting for your cab to take you to your job. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> I looking back, there was like people were like, "Oh man, you didn't meet people." I was like, "I, you have to, meet, you have to run into me in order for me to meet you." I was, I just wasn't good at that. 
So I just did the stuff that I was like decent. Felt at. comfortable too. Yeah. And going into a party and not knowing people made you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Or yeah, I just I didn't I wasn't like I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna not dance, but also wasn't like I gotta be here. You know what I mean? Like it's was, it was like if I don't, what are we doing? You're small talking with women so that you can make a girlfriend. Did you have a girlfriend in college? Uh, no girlfriends. I Amy, like, Amy's about to call you a virgin. I can hear it in her I, voice. Yeah, right. I feel like a little virgin <laughs> dweeb. That's like nah, his glasses on. There were there were no there were no girlfriends. I mean, I like dated some girls or whatever. Uh, and I found out my dad told me later like we had very similar college experience. Where like <laughs> girls would hit on us if we didn't know till like later. Yeah, and they would, and we'd be like, what? Huh? That was what does that mean? What? And then the girls who I would hang out with, it would just be like, eventually they were like wanted a guy who like wanted to do stuff. And you just wanted to play video games and go play basketball. No, no I mean I was like I just I didn't I didn't have imagination. I'd be like, oh you want it's a date like you want to like plan stuff out. I was like I thought we were just hanging out, you know, <laughs> uh, or like so ma- hanging out, making out. Like I was, what do you, what do you they, they want more. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. I didn't have I didn't have that to offer. They wanted to experience life. Yeah, and I was like, we have everything we need here. What are you doing? <laughs> like a dummy. I was young and dumb. Okay, and then did you? Now you say you you have some moves. You can talk to girls. Oh, I'm. You can go up to a girl and be like, hey, here's my number. Oh, I'm. Let me know if you want to see my crystals recharge in the moon. <laughs> here's that's funny. No, that here's what I don't get approached by crystal girls. I you would think walking around with crystals with these dimples. Crystal girls would be like, girl, hey, all the way. Crystal girls, they don't talk to me, which is fine. But to answer your question, yes, I could talk to women. I, th- I, I give comedy all the credit for that. Once you bomb, nothing can hurt you. You're right. You're right. And yeah. I, I think a certain amount of like comedy is throwing noodles at the wall and seeing what 100%. what sticks. And it has to be the same thing with trying to pick up somebody. Yeah. Also, yeah. now I'm like, I always tell people like my cousin was trying to like hook me up with this one of her coworkers, and I was like, don't do it. And she was like, wow, she's this, she's that. So I know. Here's the thing you need to know about me. We're gonna go on a, if we if we like connect it or whatever, it's gonna go well. And she's gonna wanna talk to me more. And right now I don't have the space for that. And yeah. she was like, What do you mean? She's like, You have to understand, this is what I had to learn now. I'm professionally charismatic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like and the that, rest of the day you're staring at a wall. <laughs> yeah. So like I don't have bad dates. Like I know I know what the bar is out here for men. Like, men, we're not good at holding conversations. Oh, the bar is so low. Exactly. If you rem- <laughs> if you just remember what women say to you and don't actively be misogynist to them, they're like, oh my God. This what? is the one. Who is this man? Yeah. And you're just like, now oh. add the fact that I'm professionally charismatic yes. and I'm funny. So yeah. like I've been on dates. Sp- and, and you've been close to Oprah. So you, and blow, I've been close it, you blow it. So night. I have an Oprah glow about You have me. an Oprah story where they're just like, all right, let's have babies. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oprah knew this man's name. He can <laughs> he he's, can He's going places, me. right? Yeah. No, it's just, yeah. So I've, I've been always been very aware that like I don't like to, I spent a lot of my 20s wasting women time oh and they were falling in love with you and i was just like what are you you're not in all the way yeah so you don't fall it sounds like you don't fall hard and no. in love and you're like romance and but i love those things when i see other people they're i'm not anti any of that uh-huh i just i've yet to it's yet to click for me and i i hate that i wish it did uh-huh but it just hasn't done it hasn't it. clicked for you it hasn't it hasn't clicked for oh me. i've been in love with everybody <laughs> so <laughs> that was my problem I, my brother was like you're always in love and he was like, but you actually don't like these people. <laughs> Ooh. And I was like, Ugh. my brother's very wise. And he was like, yeah, you fall in love. He's like, every day you fall in love. You see a girl, you fall in love. And he's like, but then you, you get closer and you're like, hey, I don't like it. Uh. And I'm like, he's not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Yeah. Do you have a collection of figurines or like small things? Do you have like uh, a stone collection of pebbles you picked up on your journeys through the universe Ooh. or what do you mean? Pokemon. The way you or... said that when you're like, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Yeah, I was so I, I ready. I was deeper. I was so ready for something, but I did not Are you a virgin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That's my question. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, I, I used when to... did you and where did you lose your virginity? Where? Paint no. a picture. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, talk about that. Give us no, the no. whole rundown. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, Were you wearing a bow tie? <laughs> that that was no, that was that that yes, I was. I oh. had to wear the bow tie. No. <laughs> what about I was like, stop. We can't do this until I. She's like, get a condom. No, get the get bow tie. tie. You did a stint as a Chippendale dancer. Yeah, that was that was, a, it was ages ago. It was a good time of my life. I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. Because we, I know that you musical theater background, right? A little, yeah. Like, like you, I was this close to having a minor in college. I needed like two more credits or something. Okay. 
So are you? Um, I was in a, I was in theater in, in high school. Okay. I did it because people said I wouldn't do it. Oh. It's a, okay. And I was in a musical. You sound so stubborn. I'm very stubborn. But the, my, everybody knows to get me to do something, you have to like very strategically go, you won't do it. And then I go, yeah, well. And then you, I proved so you wrong. So I did The Music Man my senior year of high school. Yes. Yeah, The Music yeah. Man. I did The Music Man. I played Marcellus. Which, is that the one that does That's the friend. Pussy? Yeah, Shapoopy. Shapoopy. Yeah. Shapoopy. Shapoopy. Yeah. The oh, girl I know the whole song. for me. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. A woman who kiss on the very first date is usually a hussy, but a woman who kiss on the second time around, anything but fussy. But a woman who wait to the third time around, head in the clouds, feet on the ground. She's the girl you're glad you found. She's your Shapoopy. 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 The girl is hard to get. get. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to share that moment with you. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and that that song is about like uh, to women. Don't put out too quickly. Yeah, uh, you're a whore. I've never thought about the themes of this song till uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's and the then, theme of all musicals. Yeah, pretty much. Like, yeah. You're, yeah, and do you think that energy uh, was trans transmitted into you, and that's why in college you didn't go and uh, to the parties and try to kiss all the girls <sighs> and slut it up? I I I wouldn't even like. I'm looking back at me at that age. I think I just was like. I didn't know how to talk to people in that setting. Like, I was a very, like, I need you one-on-one -on -one in order for this to work. Okay. There's nothing about anything I'm going to do at a party that's going to go, that guy. <laughs> but if one-on-one, -on -one, you're like, all right, I got a chance. So I just yeah. knew, I knew my odds, the odds were not in my favor at a party. That's why I love in line at the bar. Because you make new friends waiting. Yeah. But see, you also you have to have a all voice. All you have to do is turn around to the person behind you. They're mm. trapped there. They're waiting for their drink. There's no way they're getting out of line. And you've got them. So, right in your hand. Here, These are my moves. <laughs> that could work. Here's another thing I realized, too. At clubs or whatever, like, with music playing, I, my voice actually doesn't carry well. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it was it was too many times I, when I it would go. Loud. It was, what? Huh? And I was just like, all right. This, <laughs> it's too much. All right, I'll meet you at Waffle House. Yeah. <laughs> like, where, like, it's quiet. Dude, yeah. when it's loud, I go right into my upstate New York accent to get the voice. It gets through. That yeah. the voice gets through it the noise. It goes through the music, and it goes through the frozen tundra yeah. I grew up on. <laughs> I don't have that. I want. I wish I had a different. I wish this is the part I need to switch and get your voice. If I had your voice, I would go back. Hey, baby, you want to come to my? I guarantee you it work. We can play video games. I guarantee. <laughs> I didn't even play. <laughs> you played the unicycle game. That was also, I was like that was like in middle school. Okay. Yeah, I didn't play it. In, I didn't do. Yeah, I played like Madden, or like sports games. Sports and stuff games. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you are an accessories nerd. Ooh. Because the turning a tie into a bow tie and knowing how to tie a tie several different ways, and you've got a bracelet on, you've I got do. two necklaces on, a fabulous watch. You're always wearing uh, necklaces when I see you. I could, I, I think. All right, if I was gonna say what nerds I am, mm -hmm. I would, I could say accessories nerd. Uh, I think I'm a comedy nerd. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like a like sports nerd for sure. Uh huh. Um, I'm also like a like a self help. Kind of like I like to know what works for people. Oh yeah, like, you know what I mean. Like I'm very healthy curious. habits, or habit just like, stacking, but just like how people cycles. interact. Yeah, like how people interact with each other, and like how like I'm very nerdy about like research shows that these people are lonely, and I go, what does that mean? And like figuring out how people like make that stuff make sense in their own lives, or uh -huh. like how people relate to other people. Like I'm very big on like figuring out what why human beings work with each other. Oh, instead of just having war all the yeah. time. Yeah. So I'm yes. like, what works as far as humans? So I'm, I get very in the weeds. And that's that's in the macro. Yeah, I get very in the weeds about like people, human interactions. Uh, that's I don't fascinating. Know that's a nerd thing, but like, yeah. And that's what your degree's in, right? Because I actually don't know what that degree means. Me either. Okay. Look at us not knowing together. <laughs> also, I'm 37 now, so I've I've become both a World War II nerd, uh, and I'm very into smoked meats. <laughs> I love, I got yeah. really into smoking meats. Carla and I are into birds now. We turned 40 yeah. and we were into birds. And so 37 is World War II and smoked meats. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think that, that, that tracks. Yeah. I'm very into, I got a, for my birthday, my brother and sister got me like a, like a butcher's knife, like a big knife so I can mm. like, so I can carve out Have my Have you had gout meats. yet? No. I do it sparingly. <laughs> That's good. So I don't like, and I also try to cook other people. Like I don't like do it a lot, uh -huh. but I love, I love smoking meats and I love, I actually like cooking. That's cool. I'm very into cooking, but I don't like to tell people. Now that's a way to get a girl. See, and, and I, and I know I'm good at it. So that's why I told my, my friends, 
the secret they don't tell the girls that I meet they don't tell them that I can cook. Save it, save yeah. it for so like it's a, a secret, secret. Like surprise. Yeah. It's, a, it's a secret. It's like jokes. You want a surprise, a yeah. charming surprise at the end. Yeah. Wait. Do you travel? Do you tell people you're a comedian? This is random. Oh, and like in the Uber and stuff. Yeah. Do you tell Only people? if I need to sell tickets. And okay. I'm like, can you tell all of your what's friends? Your, what's your go to, like I, my other job? Because every comedian has um, like, a, I actually do this. I don't. You know what? Maybe they people don't ask women what their jobs are a lot. Interesting. Yeah. People don't care about what women do. We're not supposed mm, to work. We're yeah. supposed to be home. Damn. I didn't yeah. Having that. naps. I didn't think about that. And eating cheese dinner. Yeah, 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 a lot of people don't think about women is the thing. That's what it is. People yeah. are not thinking about women. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. As a woman, how does that make you feel? <laughs> well, let's move on. Another am not allowed to feel. All right. <laughs> I'm not allowed to feel. Oh, but Oprah said I could feel. Yeah, no, Oprah said you could feel. Um, so, all right, tell people where they can find you. That was great. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at uh, do or die, D-U-E-O-R, D-I-E. I'm uh, pretty sure I have a website. Pretty sure you have a website. Comedy.com. It's, it's not updated, but yeah, Dude, even today I got an email. Do you have a link tree? No. Child. I'm the worst comedian for I'm, this era. When this camera is off, I'm going to put you in a headlock. <laughs> I'm so... And I'm going to... You are such a good comedian. I it's not you. fair that you're not taking the business side seriously. There's the thing. I'm taking it a different type of serious. Okay. You have... Less than a minute to explain. Go. Here's what I mean. I Because I don't do what everybody else does, which I'm not knocking what everybody else does. I think it works. I get asked to do only stuff that I want to do. So here's the thing. If somebody wants me, they actually have to, if somebody, if I, they want, they actually want me to do the thing. So they I have to find booker? me. A booker. What about the or, city of Detroit wants to see you? They want, they should want to see you, but they can't because they don't see you. Well, I wouldn't, website. I probably wouldn't sell tickets there. So they that's probably because don't you want. haven't done all the work. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. But I don't want to, if I go to the trail, I want to hang out with my family. I don't want to do You don't want to do stand up? No, nah, unless somebody finds me for another thing and asks me to be there. Okay. Yeah. I've honestly, it, I didn't do this on purpose. I'm not some kind of like Can you make genius. enough money that way? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Absolutely. Are you doing private uh, corporate gigs because you can do clean? I can do. You can. There's so much you can do by not showing everything that you can do. I think comedians sometimes don't realize they gained a lot of skills. So a lot of times comedians are like, "Where have you been?" And I'm like, "Oh, working on other things." Like, what does that mean? And it's like, "Oh, I'm like talking to like businesses about like DEI." You know what I mean? Like all types of other things that like oh. they're like, "Oh, a comedian could come and make this more interesting." Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. as long as you can make a living and you can cook. I but I do need a link tree. I said all to say. So It'd probably be very helpful if I had a link tree. All right. Well, I'll you send me everything, and I'll stick it in the notes, and no. people can click on you. Okay. It doesn't hurt. Just the first time. Yes. No, <laughs> I, I will do it. You're great, and I appreciate you. So whatever you say, I'm going to do. Okay. You're too You're too good to hide under it's, a rock? Is it's that so thing? fun hiding, though. It's Have so you seen outside hiding. of the rock? This is just like college. you got to go to the parties. Put on your sassy shirt and go to the you're party. You're right. It is just like i got to put God on a sassy it. shirt. <laughs> Sassy shirt coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank, yeah, you. thank you for doing that. Oh,